Vagrant will help you to create virtual machine and Docker will help you to create containers. So both of these technologies might look similar whenever you are seeing it because one is going to help you to create virtual machine and another is going to create containers. So virtual machine and container at hindsight might look same but it's actually not same. There is big difference in it. The main difference is virtual machine actually used to create entire operating system whereas container is actually going to create one just process which will be learning on some kind of host machine that even may be virtual machine. That's the biggest difference which you have to understand in these two things. So what does that mean? Vagrant which will be allowing us to create virtual machine will give entire operating system to you. You can install any kind of database, you can install any kind of uh, server and uh, all the other fancy things uh, which you can imagine. Vagrant will help you to provision all those things uh, and make sure your website or something is released inside it and you can literally go inside it and change it. All the data will be persisted meaning whatever the data which is present on virtual machine until and unless you delete delete it or destroy it, you are not going to lose anything, everything will be present. You can turn it off, you can turn it on, you can restart your host machine, you can do anything you want. As long as that virtual machine is present, you will have the data whichever present inside that particular thing saved and stored permanently. But containers which are provided by Docker won't persist in storage, meaning once you create one container, maybe let's just say that you are creating one Ubuntu container, whatever the data which you put inside it, it is going to stay. And until you turn it off and again restart it, the data is going to be persistent. The moment you turn it off or restart it, whatever the data present in the inside container is gone. So Docker container will make sure that whatever the program it is supposed to execute, maybe one website or maybe one database, it's going to stay until it is executing meaning it's just one program if you are going to your task manager or if you are linux person if you are typing htop in your terminal immediately you will get all the resource list whatever the program you are running on your host machine it's going to be displayed in that when you are running docker you can literally see whatever the process or container which you are executing that is being seen as a process on your host machine but virtual machine works in a different way whenever you are executing virtual machine it is going to create one virtual form it won't be splitting up all the processes inside your uh, laptop it will be just one virtual machine processor which is going to execute and it will have lots of complexity inside it there i don't want to go in this particular video just understand that docker container will just create one process and virtual machine is not just one process it's entirely one operating system running on your host machine using some virtualization technology. Virtual machine created by Vagrant can be used to run whatever you want to run. Maybe one database, maybe one server or maybe even some games or anything like that. All these things will be created on separate virtualization platform which is independent from whatever the operating system you are using. And whatever happens inside that particular virtual machine, it won't affect your main laptop which is your host. But in Docker container, whatever you are running, it will be running as one independent process. But whatever the program which is being executed, it will be executed inside your laptop only. So that's why if there is some security issues, then obviously that container will be affected as well as your host machine also will be getting affected using it. That might be a little bit prob problem or not problem based on whatever you are trying to run. But it's always preferred that if you want full isolated operating system, you have to run virtual machine. But if you just want one process which will be isolated from all the other services, for example, you want to run one Node.js server and that will be created as one container and in another side maybe you want to run mysql server which is database server that time these two services will be separate from each other meaning until and unless you mention that these two things need to communicate they won't be communicating and and they are independent from each other but both will be executing as a process in host machine last difference which i want to mention in this particular video is uh, vm is usually used for running multiple things maybe it might be one website or anything like that but multiple things will be running inside one particular virtual machine maybe one process of some kind of nginx maybe some process of node.js or maybe some process of mariadb 
all these process can be run ran inside that particular virtual machine and they are communicating with each other however the way you want them to communicate whereas docker container will be used to execute one program maybe one simple node.js website you have and you want to execute and you can do that with docker easily as well as if you want to execute one uh, database service that also you can do it easily there is no such problem but the thing is you can execute all these docker containers on virtual machine also so virtual machine is something which even can execute containers inside them but uh, whereas docker can't execute virtual machine inside them that's not how it works because it's actually running as a process on host system so it can't execute any program which uh, might involve some virtualization technology inside it it's just used for running some website or some service which you want to run and which you can destroy it if you don't want to use it that's all but whereas vagrant can be used for creating proper devil environment which is going to last and you can install whatever you want to install inside it and it's going to stay persisted as long as that particular virtual machine exists so that's it for this video guys if you want to see more videos like here is the link to it and see you in the next video bye bye